come, Rocho. No better place for a night out. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. The Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. This one's missing its eyes, too. Mm. That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place. He's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. Hey guys, welcome back to the Discover Games. Today we are doing part two of Judgment. As you can see, I have a webcam on now, which is pretty great. Uh, I was able to get it to work, so let's get started. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? Well, <laughs> Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth, if you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. All right. So I guess we have a secondary quest. So, um, I hope you guys are doing well today. I am very excited to be playing this game again. This looks very, very exciting. Um, I wonder where the story is going. It's a crime mystery, so... Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, let's go down and buy a gift for the office. She's 
start on the cutscene, I'm going back to my former employer to figure out if they have any jobs, I'm guessing, that we can make money on. Get out of my way. Don't you know I am a great, well-known detective, allegedly? Oh, I guess I'm going the wrong way. Yikes. Sprint again? Oh. Oh, that's first person. That is not fantastic. Let's go back to third person. Thank you. Let's sprint a little bit. I have to go this way. Oh, sorry, bro. Ah, so the exits are where we can't go. Tokyo's full of beautiful women, that guy was thinking. That's kind of funny. But, let's start looking again. So I need to go... Oh, it's the Popo. Okay, let's see. Hey, buddy. Welcome. No, I... So I'm gonna get, what is this? Doranaki. How much? Just one? Arigato gozaimashita. And remember, always shot Popo. Okay. This will do, I'll bring it to, ah, whatever his name is. I am not gonna pretend to know how to pronounce or speak. These are thugs you I just buy some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. Oh no, I get to beat up some other uh, thugs. Are they? <laughs> Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. And you just bought the last fucking box. Uh, can't stand for that, right boys? Well, let's hope I wow. remember how to fight. Well, can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? You can perform a wall jump by pressing A to sprint towards a wall. On top of that, being able to wall strike by pressing X, you can also perform other attacks. Alright, right, I got us. Alright, hold on. I'm trying to perform this action. Mode. Press A. Oh, I am trying. I am so trying right now. Oh, uh, we could buy... Okay, this is cool. So we can buy abilities and rank them up. So this is wall jump finisher. So I guess it wants me to buy this. But I haven't even been able to wall jump yet. Like, I know I'm big dumb. But, uh... Talk here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right? Uh, know what I'm trying to say, asshole? 
mean, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. <laughs> this right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what? I got nothing to say to that. That was, that Kengo, was great. I you wish. You haven't met our buddy Tuck here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hot shot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> Get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose? Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long is he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh, I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, let's go. At least the cutscenes are pretty interesting. I like that. Just, you know, a summary of this game is just badass. That's it. Okay. Street battles. Degenerate low life thugs and all sorts of scoundrels. Constant run the streets in the search for a fight. You can choose to run away from or outright ignore these thugs, but teaching them a lesson will net you some SP and occasional item. Be warned that the cops will show up if your fights take too long, so leave the area immediately if you don't want to end up in jail. Oh, damn. I might have to end up in jail. Right, to lock abilities. Awesome. Now I have to head to the office. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Pros and cons of getting drunk. That's kind of funny. Are there any cons? What? You went the wrong way, buddy. Alright, so the people getting out of your way in this game is a little sus. How nice do I want to be to these people? Not by any. I just pushed them out of the way. I probably went the long way around. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me kick some ass real quick. Oh, I got blocked, but I don't like blocking. I don't like blocking, but... Wow, I can't... I've got to run from the area, huh? I gotta go here. To the second story. Hey, look at that. Kick some thug's ass. And I, uh... Got to where I need to go. I did get arrested. That's the big one. Hey there, they didn't son, get arrested. Son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Fancy. 
Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Passed the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, no. Yagami. Evening, Genda-sensei. Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda-sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani-sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy, though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda-sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Sorry, son. Got any work lined up for me? Nope. So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda-sensei. Mm hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes. But it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's gotta stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Uh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. Okay. And I don't have to give him uh, any extras. Now where do I go? Do I go home? Do I talk to you? Oh. Genda Law Office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. 
This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. <laughs> Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani Sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Okay. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. I don't know what to think of her, really. Now I can probably do it. Nope. Oh. So where is it? Oh, over here. And boom. Just so I don't put a moron. Are there always like gonna be street thugs and stuff trying to fight me in every corner? That can be quite daunting. Hey, you walked right into me. And we're walking down the road. Anyway. I really do want you guys to let me know what you think about this game and what this series and how I can improve in any way. I'm trying to make incremental improvements each episode and each video I upload, but uh, I always welcome your feedback. It's called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani Sensei's in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that, Tuck? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Oh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep, got hauled in earlier. You're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway. You're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyore clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hammer is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here, so the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. This third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Nope. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on, even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Oh, I get a choice. Okay. Clever thinking is rewarded. This conversation progression may have a point where you have to select the best response. During this critical uh, thought process, you might be able to gain SP bonus if you consecutively select the best choices to gather information as quickly as efficiently possible. If you choose unwise, you lose a chance to gain bonus. 
When you have a chance to gain a bonus, the number of good choices will be shown on top of the screen. Okay. Okay. He hasn't talked to him, probably. So let's see. Did Hamura really kill him? Why does the police arrest him? Okay. I'm guessing this lawyer doesn't know. A murder where both the perpetrator and the victim are Yakuza and the time messing around when they get the core of this case. Um, I'm gonna pick. Has Hamura said anything it. to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. Okay. So he insists he's innocent, huh? Alright, so he said one. Did he really kill? Well, I can't ask why did uh, Hummer really kill him or why did the priests arrest him because we already answered him. But I'm going to ask why did the police arrest Why'd him. Why'd they come after Hummer of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the uh, other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. Okay. So I don't have to ask the last one. So I'm gonna go down here. I think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. We got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. <laughs> so he wanted me to go with him, but then he wants me to go alone. Okay. A new info has been added to the case file. Serial killings, person of interest has been updated, and case synopsis has been updated. Alright, let me see it. I'm guessing we're going to find out more stuff. Leaving the already, Tuck? And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. Oh, really? I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. You know I will. It says it wants me to take a cab, huh? Okay, so let's see where I have to go. Back to the map. Oh, it's just out to here. Okay. That is not... Nope, wrong way. I was on the right way before. Oh, wow. Look at all these cones and stuff. Is that where we chased the guy earlier? I believe it probably is. I'm excited. I'm very interested to see where this case is going. I'm glad that we actually get to... Oh, no, this is to the taxi. Okay, I'm glad we actually get to um, investigate. Like, I really do feel like a detective. Ford. Damn. So it's the police station? Yeah, I have to go to the police station. Talk to him. Okay. I'm really glad. I want to feel like a detective. I don't want a cop-out game. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Doc? Why the long face? Hammer-san. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. 
Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tak. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose. Right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face them. <clears throat> you think, uh, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? Yeah, it's just part of the job. Yep. I'm fine. Keep going. Well, you My cut apologies. that tension with a now, butter knife. <clears throat> that was intense. Let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. Tuh. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Kind of. I have a lot of questions. Um, let's ask about the victim. I what do we like have on the victim? Help. Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori Grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. But the alibi. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? <sighs> Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Okay. Um, I want to know what he's arguing about. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kyori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, a moor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. 
a few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. This really is a pickle that he's in. I don't know what he's going to be able to do, but I hope we're going to be able to find evidence, and we're going to have to be looking real hard for it. So this is cool. Uh, I think that's all I need. Uh, I could ask about the police response, but I don't really care. I think I've heard enough for now. I like bonus. We'll get going then. That was pretty cool. I like that. He did give us a lot of information about what he did. Like, I know it could be a front, but he did give us a lot of information. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. What is he going to do? That's what I want to know. Okay. So let's go to the sauna. Oh. Let's go. There's a taxi. But I really don't want to spend money because remember we're poor AF. <laughs> I'm not about to uh, spend our monies on tag on on taxi cabs. You don't give up, do you? Nah, don't care. Oh, I have to defend myself. Oh, okay. Hold on. I want to execute this man with a trash can. Oh, yes. I feel like a badass every time I fight. Pretty awesome. Isn't this where I have to go? Oh, I guess I have to talk to this man. You work here? Yeah. Come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. What do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... A uh, reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? I see. If this old man had remembered Hamura's face, then he would have been an alibi. And that could have been bad. That is a, that's a good point. That could have been bad. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? But as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh, yeah. The cops mentioned something kind of similar. If I can prove that Hamura was here last night of the crime, or on the night of the crime, then we'll have, we'll solve everything. Yeah, but, but there supposedly wasn't any promising evidence to point to an alibi. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. How convenient. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. Yeah. I start asking some other people. Okay, these people, huh? Hey, 
You're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sonico 10 the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Uh, she looks pretty drunk to me, so... How about you? Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonico 10 on the night of December 3rd. <sighs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Uh, I don't want to know what your work is. Uh, let's see. Who else? Do I have to talk to this guy again? Really? You're back? Sorry, I don't have much more to say. I mean, look at me. When you get this old, you're gonna have trouble remembering faces, too. <laughs> I guess that is fair. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonico 10 on the night of December 3rd. Nobody pays attention to me, so I'm not gonna pay attention to them. You know what? I guess that's fair. Who else would be around here? Aha! Hey, buddy. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonico 10 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Okay. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt <laughs> I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Guess this isn't much of a lead then. No, it's not. Thanks for your help. All we had was very weak information. So much for that. I guess I should head home tonight. Yeah, there wasn't much there. Okay, I have to go rest up at my detective agency, huh? Which is conveniently very close. Now let us go. So, we have done a lot today in this episode. Really? Is there somewhere we follow me? Yeah, yeah, just get. I can't wait to kick your boats. Wow. These guys suck. These guys are very, very bad at their job. If their whole purpose is to stop me. They're doing a very, very poor job. Okay, I did not mean to... Uh, Yo. You're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I'd do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyori clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. 
Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. He's not, um, he wasn't looking too well. Hobbling out like that. Well, I think this is going to be it for the second episode. We did a lot today. We were able to get a case. We went down and saw more of the detective, of the, our former lawyer office. And uh, we got to do some actual investigating and some interrogating and learning how the, uh, the system goes for the dialogue. So, if you guys have played this, please let me know what you thought down below in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Uh, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you want to continue to see these episodes of Judgment go up. And as always, see you in the next video. Peace out.